We are here in a simulator for pilot driving and this simulator we, we made here for CES to show you the advantages of pilot driving compared to manual driving. Okay. Um, the status quo in normal cars and in Audis you can buy at the moment is when you want to watch a movie, for example, uh, or watch TV or make a video phone call, you're only allowed to do that in stand, standing still or in parking. As soon as you start to manually drive, this is not allowed for safety reasons because your attention has to be on the road. And this is good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so we, we just start with the simulation, put your feet on the, on the brake, we go to D and uh, put your hands on the steering and accelerate and just follow straight the cars. No big steering or so. This is not necessary. As you see here, for safety reasons, it's not available. And when the road is free, and don't crash, please, <laughs> just follow the, uh, tra the dense traffic which is coming. When the road is free, it's fun to drive an Audi, so you will not want to, to have a pilot system. But there are situations where it is boring. For example, in a dense traffic situation, and then the system recognizes, oh, um, it's dense traffic. You are from a speed between zero and 37 miles per hour, which is 60 kilometers. Um, you can activate the system just by pushing that button and releasing the, ac the, the accelerator and the steering. Then we changed to piloted mode, and now the longitudinal control. Uh, of the distance and the speed to the cars ahead and the lateral control, the position within the lane is done by the, by the car so what and is it using? your movie is back, look! Oh yeah, it's true, we can watch it as well. Now you're what allowed, yeah, now you're allowed to, to do things what you want to do. You have your time back, you, which you normally would waste in a traffic jam. Now you can use it for a video phone call. So above 100 kilometers an hour, we then, it, the system cannot be enabled anymore, is that the idea? It's not, it's That's 60 not, kilometers per hour, oh, it's 60 because it's for low speeds. It's shot on highways in the first step um, and uh, only in dense traffic because we expect you, we want to, to help you in boring situations. In situations where a road is free, we expect you to you want to drive yourself because you're driving an Audi and Audi driving is fun. So, so, so what do we use for sensing? Is it look, using cameras? Is it using GPS positioning? A combination of these things? It uses for the lane markings, markings. It uses a monocular camera, which is in serial production cars also available. The same. We use radar sensors, which also we use for ACC stop and go, also in serial production cars. The same technique. Uh, we have additionally here a close to serial production laser scanner with a wild field of view, 145 degrees opening angle, so that we can get the cars in the neighboring lanes which may uh, cut in in a really early state, so we really comfortably can react and cooperate with other drivers so that. This is really good when there's a power cut, and even if it's really narrow. Um, so, in a panic situation, if someone were to change into our lane, the car would the car react to this by changing lanes or by braking, or does it alert you and give the control back? It it does it it will handle it without giving the control back because we have detected it early enough. It will not make an automated lane change because. It just follows the lane. If you want to make a lane change, you have to do it by hand. And you can overrule the system at any time by steering, braking or accelerating. Then you get the control back. You are the boss and you decide whether to drive manually or piloted. Piloted driving is... And if we come to a stop, will it then accelerate away or you must... You must like if we come to a stop at an intersection... It will final, start again. It will start again. And as I already said, here for CS we made a Las Vegas scenario, but it's sought for highways in the first step, where no traffic signs, no stop signs, no traffic lights, and no pedestrian running over the, the street. But in further steps, when the society gets used to such systems and legislation is discussed and solved in a, in a good way for all, 
uh, then the next step will also be that we, we please break uh, and we may stop here we may stop here because the simulation is, is, is just for for to show you the main idea to give you the time back in these boring situations okay and so I think you got that yep uh, thank you very much you're welcome That's great.